Now we're finally here in the fourth game in the Metroid franchise. Because it says Metroid 4. Oh! Now, uh, this was the very first Metroid game I ever played. So I have the most nostalgia, the most fondness for this game. What happens, just Samus Aran, just riding along the BSL, just taking it easy, nothing, nothing, nothing too bad, just, just being chill. Then, uh... And then a bear attack! Oh, there's some asteroids over there. Wait, asteroids? Are they really asteroids? They can't be. Let me go see. They're Metroids! Let me go see if they're asteroids. I mean, what else could they be? They're floating rocks in space. Oh, yep, they're asteroids. Well, that's how you start a game. Uh, welcome to Metroid Fusion! She's fucking dead! She's fucking dead. No! Like I said, this is the first Metroid game I ever played, and, uh, I think it is the best one until Dread came out. Hmm, I might combat you on that one. It was, my, it was my favorite 2D Metroid until Dread came out, and, uh, it would be my favorite Metroid game until Prime 3 came out. Let's start it out. Yeah. I've been assigned to watch over Biologic's research team, so I once again found myself on the surface of SR388 yet again. It'll be what, the second or third time now? Remember what happened at the end of Samus Returns with those uh, nasty little X parasites that we saw? Yeah, yeah. Well... There they are! They're aggressive. They are aggressive. It was there that I was attacked by a life form I had never encountered before. But I thought nothing of it, so I just went back. It's all gun BK. <laughs> it's the X parasite, yes. Do you think there were parasites of all the other letters of the alphabet? Yeah, but nothing as bad as X. Like, you ever, had, you ever had a pee parasite? Nah, that ain't, ain't shit. It's awful. C parasites can be nasty, but if you drink milk regularly, you should be fine. Dude, that H parasite? Hoofa. Now, another T parasite. That doesn't really uh, survive in conditions that humans live in, mostly, so we're good on that. Oh, so she basically collapsed. Yeah, she got infected with the X parasite, and she's like, you okay? Uh, I'm alright, I, th I think. Well, anyway, I'll see you guys later. So she's about to leave, she lost consciousness, and crashed into a ship. So then, they're like, oh shit, and they take her, and now they're gonna bring her back to, well, save her, I guess. Wait, she crashed into a ship or an asteroid? An asteroid. Her oh. ship crashed into an asteroid. Oh, ship crashed into an asteroid. Okay. And she, oh, Ew. God, she's just covered in the stuff. She, she sneezed. Is... X is like, ooh, what's this, Chozo power suit? Ooh, yummy, I'm gonna, gonna corrupt all that, yeah. Corruption! Oh wait, no, not until Prime 3. So... They've become so integrated and became so infected, they couldn't really... <laughs> oh, we can't remove her suit. <laughs> they had to remove portions of her suit, leaving her physical appearance altered drastically. Well, not that drastically, just... The suit's changed, that's for sure. Don't remove my suit. But you couldn't even do that because... Some parts of her suit were into her nervous system. Ew. But so, fortunately, somebody found a cure. Oh no, they proposed using a Metroid cell. Really? So the Metroids were gonna kill the X? Yeah. Okay, cool. Because the because uh, you remember from uh, Samus Returns, yeah. the Chozo made the Metroids to combat the X. So by using a vaccine from the baby Metroid, that we, uh, well... It kills uh, the yeah. X-parasites. The X-parasites get killed and they get basically uh, absorbed into our immune system. Our... Oh, wait. There we go. We just played Dr. Mario with Samus's nervous system. Wow! Look at that suit. Well, that's just cool. What the hell? What is, what is this? It's Laffy Taffy all over my suit. So, uh, one thing that, uh, you gotta know about Samus Aran is that she is brave, but reckless. So she just got unconscious, yeah. got infected with this parasite, yeah. 
smashed her ship into an asteroid, went unconscious, mm -hmm. got got parts of her suit removed, and she just now survived just because someone blended her DNA with the Metroid vaccine. And so she steps out of the uh, out of the operating room, and she's like, "Oh shit, they're still on there. I gotta go. I, I gotta go in there. I'm gonna go take care of I'm that." I'm gonna go take real quick. But you, you don't have any. You don't have anything. You don't have your missiles. You don't have your morph ball. You don't have your power. Ball, you don't have anything. It's just you and your blaster, and you're gonna go in there. Yep, gotta go in there. Yep, gotta, gotta save them. Go. Da -da 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 -da. It's that recklessness that get that make her superiors go gah. Well, I'm glad they actually you know, fixed her up, and they weren't like, well, that sucks. Oh, she passed out and crashed? Well, that, that blows. So, they gave her a, a ship AI, because they had to give her a new ship, and, you know, this mission is basically sponsored by the Galactic Space Federation. <laughs> they gave her a, a uh, AI-controlled ship, and the AI is going to be our, uh... Our guide. It's going to be our guide for the most of it. You know, some people got a problem with that, but... For someone who has never played a Metro game before, this is a great starting point. I actually... Ironically. I actually really like the setup and the atmosphere of fusion. Oh, the atmosphere of fusion is, is phenomenal. The Game Boy Advance was on its own level, in my opinion. This is actually a modified Warrior Land 4 engine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Warrior Land 4 was another great, fantastic product of the Game Boy Advance. It's also hard to find. Really? 50 bucks for a used copy on eBay. Get out of here. I got it on my 3DS, so... God damn it. <laughs> I want to play it legitimately on the cartridge, damn it. So the quarantine bay is over there. Something's busting up in there. We got to go check it out. Well, yeah, they're in quarantine. We don't want to let them out. Yeah, something tells me that quarantine isn't going to stay quarantined for long. No, it never does. One of the coolest things about this, about this game is, uh... The more you play, the more shit gets fucked. Standard level progression... ish. It's like, the, the X are a great villain because they're... Well, you'll see. They just hungry. They are hungry and they're smart. Whenever they absorb something, they don't only get their body, they get their memories too. Oh, I hate that. They get their knowledge. I hate that. Yeah, nasty little buggers. Do you think there's a similarity between, and, you know, Let's go to comic books. Do you think there is, uh, you know, one developer who saw, who or who read Spider-Man comics and saw the symbiotes? Potentially, you know. Well, the symbiotes we are more, I'm gonna take you over your mind now. And they make a symbiotic relationship. Well, I do know that the X-Parasite are something likewise. Mm -hmm. They've been kind of hinted at for decades, actually. There was a special Choose Your Own Adventure Metroid manga that was only in Japan uh, mm -hmm. soon after the first game came out. Yeah. And one of those one of the plot lines was this parasitic alien species that were basically the progenitors of what the X Parasite is today in modern Metroid. And it got free. Yeah, it looks bad. Oh, everything's free. Oh, everything is fucked. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. And this isn't gonna be a simple cleanup operation. They're going through the background. You are just one person, but the X are multiple parasites, and they are going around- they're going throughout the whole ship, fucking everything up. We are the X. Every- no, no we're not. No, Th I'm just- They're the X. I'm just saying as the hive mind, the X is going everywhere. Oh, right, oh. <laughs> the X can mimic its prey. That's the cool part. Mm-hmm. They invade and they rapidly reproduce, asexually, so they basically- one gets in your body, it multiplies, and then all Kill your you. regular cells are replaced with X cells, and, well, you're dead. Yes. But only the Metroid vaccine is what saved us, so... Because we're a Metroid, we can absorb these things. Or at least have Metroid DNA. So, uh, we are essentially the last Metroid now. We're in captivity. We are, we are cap in captivity, and if we don't do this right, the galaxy's not gonna be at peace much longer. Hmm. Well, uh, right now let's just kind of get our bearings here. I mean, we, j we, we just got here. It hasn't even been ten minutes yet. Let's just- let's just take it easy here. I- I do like this. Grabbing the X gets you life. Yeah. But the X are their own living organisms, which means they're not gonna go down without a fight. Right. You need to kill them, and then catch them to get your life back. Oh, the- the fight between Samus and the X-Parasites throughout this game is, uh... It's one of brilliance that I didn't really appreciate until getting the footage for this. So oh. there's a... 
There's Holy something. <laughs> there's something right there. Uh, I think we should go get it. What do you think? Yeah, let's we, go get it. We, we only have a 10% chance of survival, but you know, I think I think we can manage. Okay. So the lock on level zero hatches have been released. That's that's the thing here. We we don't have doors that get opened by weapons anymore. They are security hatches. Hmm. Okay. But that's all. That's a little better. It gives a reason for the AI to exist. It 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 serves a story more. Like up there, that's level two. We can't get up there. Th these uh, security hatches they uh they serve the purpose of the story more, especially later on when we uh, get to a point I really like. That was <laughs> that was actually a good tutorial. Yep. Hey, here's your tutorial. Shoot the thing. Kill the thing. Okay, we're cool. It's a it's a great introduction into the game because this is a this is a pretty hard Metroid in terms of how Metroids go. Wouldn't say Mercury Stream hard, but it's it's pretty difficult. Harder than Zero Mission was. Maybe harder than Super Metroid. And apparently it wasn't hard enough because this was the first time I had ever heard of a 1% run. Mm -hmm. Or a 0% run. Now, I'm not entirely sure which it was, but the, the US release of Metroid Fusion is incomplete. Hmm. There are two galleries at the end, and I think it's because there is no difficulty mode for this, but there was a hard mode and normal mode for um, the Japanese Metroid Fusion. Interesting. And I don't know if what this is is the normal version, if this is normal difficulty or hard difficulty. I think it's hard difficulty. I'm not sure. We'll have to check after this episode. I'm curious. Is that... Oh, yeah, backstory. It's talking about Adam Malkovich. It's the first time we... Uh, we get mention of him. Great. So, uh, did this have AR card support? I don't believe so. I kinda miss AR cards, mainly because I'm a card collecting junkie. I, I don't. It's just locking out content from grab backs and just not good. Well, it is, but now we call them amiibos. Then I don't get amiibos, so. Well, I do! Shut <laughs> Quiet! How dare! Oh, missiles! Yep. This is a data room, this is how we get most of our upgrades now. They get sent to us by HQ in terms of downloadable oh, data packs. That's how you do it! So now we got ten missiles. Oh! Because every uh, every other missile pack has been kind of infected by the X, I think, around here. Uh, that's what I was thinking! I just realized that, yeah, you don't want to grab infected missiles. So the elevator's out now. Oh, well. See, they're already starting. They're already trying to cut the power into the place. <laughs> the X have already cased the joint. They're about to do one massive heist. So you think, well, how do I get down there? Because the elevator's out. I gotta find a different way. So how does the game teach you about secret routes? And hidden blocks? Find a way to the target. The game tells you there is a way. There is a way. You have to find it. Okay. I'm not gonna screw you over and say there is no way. There is a way. And there's the way. Oh, <laughs> Actually, I like that. Just a good introduction, because you, you got the green areas up here now. The map has been has been upgraded a lot. And the green X are the missile packs. Quote-unquote missile packs. No, the green parts are the secret rooms that aren't part of the main. No, I meant the green X that you got. That's a missile. Oh, uh, yeah, yes. Uh, yellow, there are yellow, green, and uh, red Xs. Metroid yep. can climb? Holy crap! Hey, a missile tank! This is the first big upgrade. Uh, if you saw the map up there, you see a circle, which means that there's something to get, and then it turns into a dot when you have gotten it. As a big improvement, let me tell you what, son. And now I see why you didn't like Super Metroid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was too integrated with this type, with this style of Metroid. These guys are back and they do their thing. Oh, by the way, enemies come back. Yeah, they do. If you don't collect the X, they not, just come back. Not always. These ones definitely do come back because they haven't really destroyed their bodies yet, and they just turn into a lump of boiling flesh, and then X come to reanimate that boiling flesh, and it's... it's Whoever... Th whatever scientist that was, they're not doing good right now. <laughs> so check this out. There's an E-tank right here, and you think that's the only one, right? Nope. You go up here... Missile right there, shoot up here, and come over here. Oh, I love it! Another E-tank! Now that... E-tank right there... That, that first one we got. ...is one of the hardest ones to avoid in 1% runs. Yeah. And... Oh. So here's how bosses work. The bosses aren't actually monsters. They're just... gigantic X-cores... 
that have infected a part of some creature from SR388. And so now they're trying to kill us with that. Sonic Boom! So we weaken them enough, we shoot him a whole bunch, and this guy's, you know, you can tell what's going on. You grab on the legends, you avoid the fire, you shoot him when he's, when he's open. I know what we're getting. <laughs> I love it. There's context clues there you go. everywhere. After that, after that happens, they turn into this shell form. They kind of they kind of fly around. You got to shoot some missiles right at them to really damage that outer shell. You see that in there? See what's inside that shell? Oh, that's DNA. That is some X infecting a part of our power suit. What is it? It's the, the morph, morph ball. ball. So now parts of our power suit have been infected by X, and now they're flying around, turning into God knows what, fucking everything up. Shit's fucked. I kind of like that. You guys, you guys gotta. Th th this place is screwed up. You got, you got, you guys gotta get out of here right now. Hey, uh, Federation, is there any way you could send a nuke? <laughs> Let's just take out the planet. Why not? It's a spaceship. It's not a planet. Then nuke the spaceship. <laughs> oh, that guy's dead. So sad. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he probably had a family. I don't know. Best to assume. They probably lived on here. Ew. Oops. So, hey computer, I made it. Praise me. I did it. I destroyed the X and got my morph ball. Yeah, some people don't like this, hey, go here, you know, linear style of this, which... It's fine, but... I don't know, I, I like the context, I guess. If adds, there is a reason for it to do that, I'm okay with it. It adds weight. And this time, there is many good reasons why they do this. Well, this entire ship was just, like, locked up, right? Because the X was in here, and they wanted to lock it down. So well, they couldn't well, escape. Well, that's the thing, the place yeah. is locked down. Right, which is why I'm saying, you know, our AI is saying, Oh, hey, why don't I unleash this one, and you can go check it out. See if you can fix some things. That's what happens eventually. Right now, we're just kind of investigating. Eventually they'll say, alright, well we should open up level 1 locks, and then, okay, maybe level 2, and then, yeah, maybe level 3, and then, yeah, maybe level 4, but... See, this is gonna be fun, because I don't know much about Metroid Fusion, so we're gonna have basically a swap of knowledge from the last game. Yeah, where I know basically nothing about it, but... Oh wait, here we go, here we go! One of the greatest villains in the Metroid franchise. Dark Samus. <laughs> so because those bits of power suit have Samus's DNA on them, the X got a hold of that, they infected their power suit, and then they mimicked their prey, so now we have an X parasite Samus Aran running around. Who has all of her abilities, by the way? We're, we're still a little baby know-nothing Metroid, uh... Fusion, little Metroid baby. Fusling, yeah. Fusling? We, 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 we are, in essence, a baby Metroid ourselves. And, uh, Samus Aran X, or S-A-X. Sax. Has a screw attack, I saw. Yes. That's not good. You know what she also has? Super missiles. An ice beam. Fuck! And you know why that's bad? Oh, no! What's a Metroid's number one weakness? <laughs> oh, I know, I put it together. Yeah, it's ice. Uh, crap. <sighs> well, now we have a quote-unquote stalker yep. enemy. Mm-hmm. They turned Metroid into a horror game. Alright, so... They're already they're starting to fuck shit up. The X are starting to get into the atmospheric stabilizers. They're trying to choke us out right now. What they're also doing is that they're putting X... Putting them into all the vents, so they're going to all places that those vents go in these atmospheric stabilizers, and reproducing, and infecting. It's just... Oh, it's a... it's a... it's a mess. We will become infinite. We will become X. So this is Sector 1, known as SRX, because this is the sector where uh, the environment is a lot like the planet SR388. For research's sake, I just suppose. Yeah. There's already a bunch of X flying around here, all the Skull crew is already dead. Those are basically the crew members that we were seeing there. I actually kind of like that the X just fly in from off camera and say, Hey, what's up, Kind of adds, it adds a new, uh... This new style of gameplay that wasn't in previous Metroids let you know that this is the new era! Metroid 4. Oh right, we need to clean out the... the vents. Not only that, uh... Metroid Prime came out around this time too. 
Yeah, it was uh, Metroid Prime and Metroid Fusion in the same year. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they have uh, connection bonuses too. That's cool. But don't you have to have the Game Boy player? Ooh, it made new monsters. So, so I'm, 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 I'm trying something here. I found my old Metroid Prime data from like 2005. Oh my god. Back when it's when I still had the Game Boy Player, and I still did that. So all oh, I got. Are you thinking? All I got to do is beat Metroid Prime, and I'm thinking maybe, just maybe, I can unlock the Fusion Suit. That'd be cool. It would be cool. I mean, try that. I got extra replay to unlock that anyway. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's it's just a flag, you know. Yeah. All you got to do is trip that flag, and then we're good. Yep. I also found out which version I have of Metroid Prime. Do you have the Walmart one? There's a Walmart one. There are multiple boxes of Metroid Prime, and some of them was depending on oh on what where you got it from. I got one that came oh, with an this Echo's is a, demo demo disc. Okay, this is a different version then. Yeah. Uh, this is. Oh, you're checking the disc itself. This is version two. Version one point two is what you have. You have version one. I have version zero. Oh, the one with the most glitches? Maybe. You had the original. Well, I mean, it's it's still like fine, but there's still a few glitches there. But mm -hmm. so you got version 1.0, which is the original release. That's what I have. Yeah. Then you got the 1.1, which is like the reissue, where they fix some of those glitches and all that. And then everything goes well for a while until we get to these demo discs and the player's choice. That's 1.2. And then fucking tri Trilogy has Go its own pirates! Thing. Yeah, pirates! Yeah, they're infected too! That's not good! That's awful! Which means the pirates have been here. Either that or they just got some pirate DNA. Hey, what do you want in your smoothie, X? No, oh, a little bit of space pirate, maybe some Samus Aran! Here's yeah. your DNA smoothie. Thankfully you can tell when there's an atmosphere stabilizer to take care of because there's a tone playing, everything's all smoky, and everything's all red. I'm hoping that you, you can use your eyes to figure that out. <laughs> use your eyes and your ears. And maybe your tongue and left toe. I use my right toe, but hey, to each his own. Was there stuff moving in the background? Probably. I like it. There are some things in the background that you can't interact with or fight or do anything with. But the X can. I love it. There's some puzzles involving the X too to get some upgrades. There's a there's gonna be a lot here. This is this is this is a great game. This is a this is a Game Boy classic. And yet it's a short game because it's on the Game Boy Advance. It's not that short. No. It's gonna be longer than Super Metroid and Zero Mission was. Yeah, they are coming from the background. That's amazing. Yep. See the GBA, even though its sound chip was kind of. Garbo. I like the sound. It still made some really cool games. I love the sound in Metroid Fusion, though. Whatever they had to do to make it work, the, the sound of the missiles exploding and everything just just blowing up, and the, and the roars that some of these monsters have, they did a great job. Work with what you got. I mean, when I talk about the Game Boy Advance sound chip, on, on the one hand, you have Metroid fucking Fusion. And on the other hand, you have the Donkey Kong Country remakes. <laughs> <laughs> Stinger Brush Symphony just sounds wrong if it doesn't have any sort of if, if it doesn't have that nice soothing bass line. It just sounds wrong. Didn't the didn't the GBA ones also have the dancing mini game? I think they did. <laughs> Candy Kong. I don't know if that was uh, all three of them or just one. Oh my god. I, mean, I had the Game Boy Color Donkey uh, Don Kong Country. Game Boy Color. Yeah. I didn't know they made that. I only played Donkey Kong Land. I was the only Game Boy Donkey Kong I played. Couldn't play Land. Couldn't play Land for so long, I think it colored my perception of Land 2 and Land 3, which were better. Improved, I should say. It's the one I played, therefore better. <laughs> yes, exactly. This is how I go by every game. Oh, what? I should have grabbed. Yeah, I should have. Come I on, Metroid, they're, grab. They're, 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 they're being mean here. Do you have to crawl through the entire thing, or...? Also, going from a 3DS uh, D-pad when you've been practicing to a <laughs> Wii U gamepad, it's a little different. Damn it. Are we even allowed here yet? Yeah, we are. We, we have to go through here. It's, it's just, I can't get the jump, I can't grab it just right. 
It's just... Do it! Oh, come on! I can't, this, this is ridiculous. I gotta get up there. It's gotta be somewhere. And okay. this is why Super Metroid is the superior Metroid? You see, it's weird. The things you think would give me a problem, I do fine with. The things that should be easy, I... I... <laughs> I overthink. <laughs> Oh, that is such a me thing to do! Yeah. Holy shit! Ow. I would totally do that! So the nice, nice thing about these uh, eye doors is that they always give you a red X. So, Which is uh, life and missiles, right? Uh, not full life, but a good chunk of life and a great chunk of missiles. Ooh, ooh, get it! Ah, it's X! It's uh, a spiked X! The X are infecting this as well. You know, if anything, this is a lot like Super Metroid. Because there is a false, uh, Chozo statue. And... Yeah. I like how this is mimicking a, like, a spiked virus. There are a lot of callbacks Ooh. to Super Metroid here. The, the false, uh, Chozo statue is probably one of them. The charge beam. Yep. Oh, I love it. Charge I also beam. like the sound. Very nice, very nice. The tone at which it charges, is, it changes from beam to beam. One over there, I yeah, think. Yeah, I, I feel like there's something here. Yes, thank you. Yeah. I a whole bunch of things! <laughs> it's a birthday party! Hey, what's up, Samus? Some of these secrets are pretty cryptic, especially when you don't have a map, but when you, like, okay, there's a secret here, and you go in there, <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. In terms of collectibles, we have missiles, power bomb tanks, and E-tanks. That's it. No super missiles, then. No super missiles because they are incorporated with our regular missiles. Ew. Um, no reserve tanks because, you know, she doesn't do that no more. Oh, that's a. Uh, that is actually. Sorry, I'm just thinking about a, uh, a speedrun and how you can basically hit that thing through the rock. <laughs> you don't even have to double back around. I'm playing this like it's canon, alright? I all right? know, but I'm just saying. Oh. We've made a loop. Yep. Those things don't stay open, though. Alright, so is that everything? Have we, have we cleaned the fans? Uh, still got a couple things to do here. Like, uh, oh yeah, there's, there's a little itty bitty secret in here. Ah, this thing. This there. is what I call the wall jump recertification exam. <laughs> Get recertified, dude. Wall jumping works, you know, kind of the same it does in Super Metroid. It's nowhere near oh, as, oh, uh, oh, 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 oh. it's not anywhere near as difficult to do, but it's basically... Uh, somersault towards the wall, hit the opposite direction, and then jump. You should see, like, some sort of change in her, in her, uh, thing. But, uh, Just, got, it's almost it, there. Oh, oh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You have a, yep, you have yep, a squishy yep, D-pad, oh. I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, uh, I don't want to blame uh, your D-pad, but that's, uh, it's, it's seriously hindering me. Don't blame I'm, the controller. I'm, no, no, no. Don't I'm, blame I'm, the controls. I'm, 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 I'm being serious. Uh, the Wii U just, gamepad's just fine. There. Just for some Oop. reason, the D-pad is not Oop. cooperating with me. Oop. Because I do it fine on my other D-pad on the 3DS, but, you know, here, here nor there, whatever, we got it. And now we've recertified our wall jump status. We now know how to wall jump. Again. And that's about all we can get here for now. Going through this game, it's uh, a bit more open than I expected. Yeah, I noticed as soon as you came in, the map was revealed to you and it said, okay, go. Yep. I know it was still restrictive, but the... The point still stands. It gave you the map. Not all of it, though. Look at all the stuff that we're that we're missing, though. Oh yeah. yeah. I knew there were going to be secrets. I mean, I mean, uh, did you know that right above us is a, a portal to Sector Two? Oh, that's nice. I was hoping they'd add shortcuts too. We can't get there until like probably the next to last episode. <laughs> that's fine. At least they thought of it. But I kind of like this linearity at first. It's kind of like, all right, go here. Okay, now go here. Okay, now go here. Okay, now go here somehow. Then yeah, go around go over here. Yeah. Towards the end, it uh, opens up, which is what I like. So uh, that'll do it for uh, Metroid Fusion. Next time, we're Metroid Dread. We're, we're gonna <laughs> we're, we're gonna see what else uh, the X are doing to fuck things up. I'm sure, it'll be great. See you next time. I'm gonna do some rolling in the meantime.